Hey, what is up guys? This is Hawkside and welcome back to my video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys 10 ways to speed up your Windows 10 computers. So let's get started. The first way is to turn off your computer's transparency. To do that, you can click on the Windows key button, type in transparent, and then click on this when it pops up. So as you see right here, you can see the transparency right here. So when I turn it off, you can just see all the white blank. And when I turn it back on, you can see the transparency right here. So you wanna turn the transparency effect off so that you can boost your computer's performance. Next is to disable all of your computer's effects. So to do that, press on the Windows button and then type in Control Panel. So right here, click on the System and Security, then System, then click on the uh, Advanced System Settings, then under Advanced, click on the settings. So right here, click on the adjust for best performance. By clicking on this, it is going to remove your computer's effects. It is going to look weird a little at the beginning, but as time goes by, you're gonna get used to it. Click on apply and then click on okay. Now, third is to maximize your computer RAM usability. So as you see right here, I have eight gigs in total, and then only 6.24 gigs is usable. So to use all of it, you can uh, exit out of the uh, control panel and then click on the Windows button, type in run, click on run, and then right here, type in uh, msconfig, just like this, and msconfig. So click on okay, and then right here, click on boot, advanced options, and then right here, click on the maximum memory. And also right here, uh, you can enab enable all four uh, processors. So click on the uh, four and then okay, apply and then okay. And you don't have to restart your computer right now. So fourth is to disable your startup programs. So when you start up your computer, it might take a little long to uh, start your computer up. It is because of the startup programs. So to disable them, you can click on uh, down here, click on the task manager and then once it is opened, click on the startup. As you see right here, I disabled all the things. I don't need them to run when I start up my computer. So as you can see this one, if it is enabled, you can just disable it if you don't need it. And also, since I need this one, I, I'm gonna keep it enabled. So fifth is to reduce the boot menu timeout. So basically, when you turn on your computer, there's gonna be the operating system uh, load screen. So that takes about like 30 seconds. So you can actually reduce that seconds so that you can uh, start up your computer faster. To do that, press on the Windows button and then Control Panel. Click on the System and Security. Click on System, Advanced System Settings. And then right here, under the Advanced, click on the Settings here. Mine says uh, 30 seconds. So you can reduce it down to 10 seconds. Or if you, if you like, you can reduce it down to five seconds. So the reason why the default is 30 seconds is because you have uh, 30 seconds to enter safe mode when you first turn on your computer. So if you need more time, you can just give it a little more time. And then once you're done, click on OK, and then OK, and you can exit out of the control panel. Six is to turn off tips and tricks on your computer. So to do that, click on the Windows button, Click on the gear icon right here from right here type in uh, notifications and this is going to pop up click on it click on uh, the notifications in action so right here i already have it off so if yours is on turn it off the reason why you want to turn it off is your computer is going to constantly scan for tips and tricks on your computer so it is going to affect your computer's performance so you want to turn it off seventh is to run a, a disk cleanup so you might not know about this, but your computer needs to be cleaned up once in a while. So to do that, you can open up the file explorer and then from down here, click on this PC and then choose whatever uh, disk you have or uh, drive. So for this one, right click on it, click on properties. And then under here, you can uh, click on the disk cleanup for yours not all of them are going to be checked so for mine i i manually checked everything so you don't have to do that you can just right click on the cleanup and then just wait for it do not exit out of it so as you see right here i just checked everything and click on okay 
to clean up. It might take a while for your uh, computer. So this is going to pop up and then click on delete files. Depends on your computer. Um, sometimes it might take a long time and sometimes might not be. So for the sake of uh, this video, I'm gonna exit out of it. But for you, do not close it. So tip number eight is to delete all of your bloatware. So your computer might have like apps that you don't use and times with the computer when you first bought it. So to get rid of them, you can uh, go to control panel right here. And then under here, click on the uninstall a program. If you don't need any of the programs here, you can just uninstall them. So for example, if I don't need uh, OBS Studio, then I can just right click on it and then click uninstall or change. And then right here, you can just uninstall it. Just like that. And also there's another way to uninstall. So you can go to uninstall right here, type in uninstall, click on this. So from right here, you're gonna see all of these uh, apps. So if you don't need some of them, then you can just uninstall them from here. So for example, I don't need um, probably sketchbook. If I don't need it, I can just right click on it and then uninstall it. Tips number eight is to change your power plan. So you might be using balance or power saver plan on your um, computer. So you wanna change it to high performance. To do that, right click on the battery right, right here and then click on the power options. So right here, this is my uh, high performance plan. So to if you don't have any uh, high performance uh, plan, then you can create your own. So to do that, click on uh, create a power plan. So on this page, it, it is very important to choose the high performance. So right here, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name it lightning number two click on next and then right here you can just choose whatever you like so after that you can click on the uh, create and then you can select it right here so lightning number two so by choosing this plan and creating this plan it is going to increase your computer's performance and number 10 is to restore your computer so sometimes you might just close your computer or just like put it into like sleep mode. So once in a while, it would be best if you just shut down your computer or restart your computer so that your computer can start up fresh and get rid of problems. And that's it for this video. And thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like button. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, to leave them in the comment below. And if you guys wanna see my future videos, because I'll be uploading them more in the future, make sure to click on the subscribe button. And again, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.